matter how many movies are there, they are. But there's a new one coming out, and it's in the final chapter. Thank God. People, it's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Existing subscribers, I missed you guys. Hope you guys are doing good. New subscribers, welcome. This is how it's gonna go down. This review is broken up into three parts. Number one, I talk a little bit about the movie. Spoiler free, where I will give you my impressions, what I thought. I may do a plot summary. Chances are with this movie, it's not gonna happen. Part two, I'm gonna go balls deep. And when I mean balls deep, I mean balls deep, and I'm gonna talk about the transfer. This is gonna be the most comprehensive transfer of a 4K Blu-ray on YouTube. Everything from the HDR to the shadow detail to everything. And part three, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. I'll tell you whether you should pick it up, whether you shouldn't, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully you subscribe after this bitch, but that's up to you guys. So all that being said, let's just get on with it. I don't like these movies, but I like these movies. I don't think they do any justice to the game. They don't. But they've got some cool bits in this movie. I'm not gonna lie to you. They've got some cool scenes in every movie. There's some cool shots where you're like, okay, all right, all right. And Mila Jovovich, we get to her later. So it's an eye candy mindless movie. This movie itself picks up from where the last one left off. So Alice pretty much joins a group of survivors in a prison and they're surrounded by these zombies in this bitch. We're talking hundreds of zombies. And their main mission is to go to Arcadia, like a safe haven in this bitch, away from all of this. They got Wesker on their trail and there's generally cool moments in the movie. That's really all I'm gonna say because that really is not much to this movie. What I will say is it's got some Cool moments in it, and also Mila Jovovich. We'll get back to her again. It is mindless fun, okay? It's mindless fun. If you treat it like it's a Resident Evil movie, you are gonna be disappointed as hell. As my boy Jeremy Jans would say, good time if you're drunk in this bitch. Be drunk, watch it, you'll enjoy it. Chances are, it's probably a guilty pleasure anyway. I still think the first one is the best one. The lasers come in and then the shit and then they get fucked up. You remember the first one, god damn. People getting kebabbed in this bitch. And most of you guys are watching it for Miller anyway. Yes, we're on a first name basis. What do you want me to say? You could rent it, but you might want a refund in this bitch. You hear the sirens? They're after your boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Resident Evil Afterlife, shot in 2K. Visual effects, 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K. Upscaled to 4K. Dolby Atlas, Sound. So how's a transfer? It's a pretty good transfer, I'm not gonna lie to you. Pretty good transfer. This film has some uh, minor grain, minor noise. It's not gonna get in the way of your enjoyment of the movie. If you wanna call it enjoyment. The HDR? is very, very nice in this presentation. It's very vibrant, it's very rich. There's a fight scene that takes place and just the detail with the HDR makes shit pop off the screen. The colors really do pop, but I know it's a zombie movie and I know that sometimes in some, in some parts of this movie, the color's pretty muted, but most of the movie is vibrant and three-dimensional as hell. This movie is sharp as a mofo. Clarity everywhere. You can see everything. Yeah, pores, hair, textures and clothing. Because of the depth and because of the color, it gives it a nice three-dimensional pop. So now you've got colors which pop off the screen and then you've got detail, you've got clarity, you notice everything, the pupils, you notice details in the pupils, you notice details pretty much everywhere in this bitch. That coupled with the HDR, god damn, the depth of field is stunning. The depth of field really, really stands out. You can really see layers in this movie. I'm talking about this movie like I love this movie. I don't love this movie, but the 4K I love. Black levels are very deep, detailed. You can make things out. The inkiest blacks of the HDR and the brightest lights of the HDR really do shine on this transfer. No denying that at all. There is a lot of CGI in this bitch. Do you notice it? Yes and no. There are times where you notice the CGI, there's times where you don't. But it's definitely not gonna ruin your enjoyment. It's not in your face fake, if you know what I'm saying. There's a lot more detail to the CGI, obviously because everything is upscaled. 
so you don't it doesn't really ruin things for you but you will know what cgi and what isn't let's just keep it real the color is very natural looking and very vibrant whenever it needs to be this transfer is not reference quality but this transfer gets the brass tax seal of approval in this bitch and i'll tell you who else gets the brass tax seal of approval mila jovovich God damn! She beautiful anyway. Baby, you beautiful in 1080p, you beautiful in 480p, you beautiful in 360p, okay? You even more beautiful in 4K. Girl, you may start every movie butt naked in this bitch, yeah? You in Fifth, fifth Element, butt naked. All the Resident Evil movies, you start off butt naked. In this movie, you start off butt naked again. I guess, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. The 4K do you justice, baby. For you. I'm so sorry you weren't in my top 10. Look guys, if you're looking for a really good transfer to show off 4K, this is a good one. But generally speaking, this is a fantastic transfer. Very little I can fault about it on that side. The movie itself, it's shitty. What do you want me to say? Worth picking up for 4K? Yes, it's worth picking up for 4K. Poss possibly wait for it to drop down in price somewhat. So I recommend it for the 4K. I don't recommend it for the movie itself. What do you want me to say? That's pretty much it, guys. Anyway, guys, if you like this review, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I got more reviews coming up. And uh, just thank you for all the support. This channel's growing, but it won't, it, the channel wouldn't be shit if it wasn't for you guys. So I really appreciate all the love and support. You guys, take care. I'm going to catch you soon.